Hello everyone, welcome to the channel TopGate. In this video, we will see a concept called as equivalence of two finite automata. So in this one, you can see that we have two machines M1 and M2 and we need to find out whether these two machines are equivalent or not. So first of all, we'll try to understand that what is this equivalence and then we'll see what are the different steps we take in order to find out whether the two machines are equivalent or not. So if we talk about the equivalence, then the two machines will be equivalent if they produce the same set of output. That means if this machine M1 and M2, they both are producing the same set of output, they are accepting the same language, then this we say that both of these machines will are equivalent. Clear? Now, there might be a possibility that both of these machines might look different. Like in this case, you can see M1 is having three states, M2 is having four states, but there may be a possibility that both of these machines are equivalent. Why? Because they may produce the same set of outputs. Clear? So, there is a possibility that both of these machines are equivalent. That is the meaning of equivalence. Now, uh, whenever we are trying to find out whether these two machines are equivalent or not, we usually take two steps. The very first step is that we start with the initial state that is in M1 we have the initial state as Q1 and in M2 we have the initial state as Q4. So we'll start from Q1 and Q4 and we'll see that where the machine is transiting from Q1 with alphabet C and from Q4 with alphabet C in the machine M2. Okay, so we'll try to make pairs. The first pair we'll make is the initial state of machine M1 and the initial state of machine M2. Clear? And then we'll see the movement of the machine, the transition of the machine from the input alphabet C in M1 and M2, both of the machines. Clear? And similarly, we'll try to explore all the different states and we stop at a point where in a pair we get two states such that one state is a final state and one state is a non-final state. So if we reach at such a pair where one state is final, one state is non-final, we stop there and we conclude that both of the machines are not equivalent. But if we are not able to reach such a pair, then we conclude that the machines are equivalent. Clear? And the second step says that exists only in this example that if in one machine, if initial state is the final state, then in another machine, the initial state should be the final state. So if you see in this M1, that Q1 is the initial state as well as it is the final state. So similarly, in M2 also, if Q4 is the initial state, Q4 should also be the final state. That is the condition for the machine to be equivalent. Clear? Now, let's find out whether these machines are equivalent or not. So first of all, I'll just make a table. And the table, the first thing that we have is the state and the input alphabet that we have is C and D. Clear? So now see, first state I'll take is the initial state. So initial state in M1 is Q1, initial state in M2 is Q4. So I'll make a pair Q1, comma Q4. Clear? So now I'll see, from Q1 with input alphabet C, so from Q1 with input, input alphabet C, where are we transiting? We are transiting to state Q1 only, so I will write Q1 here and similarly from Q4 with C, so from Q4 with C, I am moving on to state Q4, so I got a pair Q1 and Q4 and since Q1 and Q4 both are final, so I will just write final state here, FS, FS, so both are final, therefore it is allowed, no problem. Clear? Now again, from Q1 with input alphabet D, so with from Q1 with al alphabet D, we are reaching on to state Q2 and similarly in Q4, uh, from Q4 with input alphabet D, we are reaching on to state Q5. So I again got a pair Q2 and Q5. Now you have, we have to check out whether this Q2 and Q5, they both are final or they both are non-final. So this Q2 is the non-final state that is it is an intermediate state so i'll just write is here similarly q5 again it is not the final state so i'll just write the intermediate state so we'll continue to do this unless and until we find a pair in which one element is a final one element is a non-final then only we can conclude machines are not equivalent now how to proceed further now if you see this one this table if you consider this part as the lhs and this whole part is the RHS, this whole part is the RHS 
and this whole part is the LHS. Then we see that every pair that is appearing onto the right hand side should also appear onto the left hand side. Okay, so Q1, Q4, it's already there on the left hand side. Q2, Q5, it's not there. So next pair I'll explore is Q2 and Q5. Clear? Now Q2 with input alphabet C. Q2 input alphabet C. Where I'm moving? I'm moving on to state Q3. Similarly, Q5 with input alphabet C. Q5 with C, I'm moving on to state Q6. So now if you see Q3 is a non-final state. So I'll write intermediate state here. Similarly, Q6, it is again a non-final state. I'll write intermediate state. So again, no problem. Clear? Now Q2, D. So Q2, D, I'm moving on to state Q1. And similarly, Q5, D. So Q5, D, I'm moving on to state Q4. So again, if you see, Q1 is the final state. Q4 is the final state. So again, there is no problem. I'll write fs here. Again, no problem. Now you see, q1, q4, it's already here. q2, q5, it's already here. q3, q6, it's not here. So now, next state, next pair that I'll take is q3 and q6. So now, q3, q6. Again, q3, alphabet C. So, q3, alphabet C. Uh, this one is, I think, is incomplete. Uh, I'll just uh, make one self loop here. Okay, uh, self loop of D here. Now it's correct. So now Q3 with C. So Q3 with C. I'm moving on to state Q2. And similarly, Q6 D. So Q6 D. I'm moving on to state Q6. Sorry, uh, Q6 C. So Q6 C. I'm moving on to state Q7. So if you see. Q2 is a non-final state, Q7 is a non-final state. So again, I'll write intermediate state again here, intermediate state. Okay, so there's again no problem. Now, similarly, Q3, D. So Q3, D, it is again Q3 only and Q6, D, it is again Q6 only. So again, Q3 is not a final state and Q6 is not a final state. Again, I'll write intermediate and intermediate state. So again, till now, we don't have any problem. So again, I'll check what is appearing on the right hand side should also appear onto the left hand side. So left hand side, uh, this Q2, Q7 is not here. So I'll write Q2, Q7. Now Q2, C. So Q2, C. I'm moving on to state Q3. Similarly, uh, Q7, C. So Q7, C. I'm on to, moving on to state Q. 6. So now check Q3 is the intermediate state. Q6 is again the intermediate state. So far so good. No problem. And then Q2 D. So Q2 D. I'm moving, moving on to state Q1. And similarly Q7 D. Moving on to state Q4. So if you see this again is the final state. This is again a final state. So again, so far so good. No problem. Both of the elements of the states uh, of the pairs are either the intermediate state or either they are the final state. So now again, we'll see whatever is appearing on the right hand side should also appear onto the left hand side. So we have Q1, Q4 here. Q2, Q5, it's here. Q3, Q6, it's here. Q1, Q4, it's here. Q2, Q7, it's here. Q3, Q6, it's here. Q3, Q6, it's here. Q1, Q4, it's already here. So everything appearing on the right hand side is also appearing on the uh, left hand side. So we haven't reached such a pair where one element is a final state, one element is a non-final state. Therefore, we can say that both of these machines are equivalent. That is the step one. Now, step two says that in one machine, if initial state is the final state, then in the other machine also, initial state should be the final state. So if you see here in M1, Q1 is the initial state and the final state. Similarly, in M2, Q4 is the initial state as well as it is the final state. So both of the conditions are true. Hence, we can say that both of these machines are equivalent. However, they are looking like different. It is having three states. It is having four states. But then also they are producing the same set of outputs. They accept the same set of language. Therefore, we can conclude that both of these machines are equivalent. That is all. Now, let's take one more example. 
In this one, again, I have two machines M1 and M2, and we need to find out whether these machines are equivalent or not. So, again, I'll take, uh, I'll just make a table. The first thing will be the state. Second, the alphabets that we have is A and B, and then I'll just try to make pairs. Okay. So, the first pair that I'll make will be the initial state. So, Q0 and Q2. So, Q0, Q2. Clear? So, now Q0, a. So, Q0, A. I'm moving on to state Q1. No problem. Similarly, Q0, uh, sorry, Q2, A. So, Q2, A. I'm moving on to state Q2. Now, if you see this one, Q1 is an intermediate state. I'll write intermediate. And Q2 is a final state. Okay. So, we have reached a pair where one element is an intermediate state, a non-final state, and one element is a final state. So therefore, we stop right here. We are not proceeding it further and we conclude that both of these machines are not equivalent. However, uh, the second step is fulfilled uh, because in machine M1, you can see Q0 is the initial as well as it is the final and in M2 also Q2 is the initial as well as it is the final state. So, second step is there. We are having initial and the final state same in both of the machines. But then also, since we are reaching such a pair where one state is uh, non-final, one state is final, therefore, we conclude that both of these machines are not equivalent. I hope this is clear to you now. Thank you so much.